हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस पार्ट टू वीडियो ऑन को चार्टिंग ऐप वी विल कवर द सेटिंग पार्ट एक्सेप्ट दिस ऑल ऑप्शंस हैव बीन कवर्ड इन पार्ट वन सो टू एक्सेस सेटिंग वी नीड टू टच हियर थ्री हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइंस ऑन द राइट टॉप नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द चार्ट सेटिंग्स द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन बैकग्राउंड इज मोर लाइक अ थीम यू कैन चूज लीनियर कलर एज वेल एज द ग्रेडियंट कलर्स so let us choose dark theme now you can see the theme of the chart has been changed to dark the second watermark option will bring the watermark of the stock in the background now by margin settings we can set the bottom and top margin of the chart you can also use various skin or you can upload it from your mobile phone or tablet so these skins will come in the background of your chart you can also change the cross hair color now price line is the line which shows the current market price in the chart so this green dotted line is the price line which is showing the value as 18335.90 you can switch it on or off then we can also enable or disable the day breaks let me show it to you so now you can see the chart the day breaks are clearly showing on the chart then we can enable grid line as well this session shading is for marking different market sessions such as in the forex market this button will be activated in a week or two now let us come to axis settings x axis can be set to the top or bottom from these two options which is x axis top and bottom now axis domain are related to the color of this horizontal and vertical line which is drawn along the price axis and the date axis so now if i change its color now it is in the black color the color has been changed to blue now we have tick size so please do not get confused tick size of the axis to the tick size of this order flow which is called tick manager here so let me show what ticks are so now here you can see the price line suppose you are looking at the 18250 so just before that there is a small dash line which is called the tick line similarly on the date which is down here shown as 22nd may there is a vertical dash which is called tick so you can increase or decrease the size of these lines suppose here the value is 20 now if i put it 2 now you can see the length of these ticks have been decreased now here we also have the padding you can also add the padding here and for zoom in and zoom out you can lock the aspect ratio now let us come to the coordinate settings you can see bid and ask on y axis along with the price by this option then bar countdown can be seen on your y axis or x axis by these options you can also show clock or hide it now these two options related to coordinate arrows and padding so let me show it to you on the chart first so you can see these numbers of rsi uh, in a square box written as 57 and 80 so currently they are written in a square box and there is no point in the square box now suppose if i put some value to this dx or dy suppose i put it as 10 and now let us look can you see now these squares have become pointed so this was about the dx and dy settings you can also add padding to the left right top and bottom now legend option is important so here you can choose for navigation as well as for paint button to either always show or always invisible or show on hover so let me show you first what are the navigation buttons and what are the paint buttons so here if i hover if i click anywhere can you see i now i am able to see these left right arrows as well as zoom in and zoom out so these options will come only after you click on the screen means when you hover if i make it invisible so it will never be visible and and if i make it visible always visible so these option will always be there on the screen the same setting is applied for the pain buttons so let me show you what are the pain buttons 
So now please see these three buttons near the 80 value of RSI. We have an up arrow, we have an expand arrow and we have a cross. So these three buttons are called pane buttons. Similar buttons can be seen on the top right of the chart. There are two buttons, one is down arrow and one is expand. So how to operate these buttons? So there are two panes in the chart basically. One is the price chart and second pane is having RSI. So suppose I want to shift this RSI pane upwards. I will simply click on this up arrow and the RSI has been shifted upwards. Now if I want to shift the chart to upwards, I will again click on the chart upward arrow and the chart has been shifted to top. So similarly you can operate these pins. So the similar setting of always show or show on hover or always invisible can be done for the pin buttons. Now we have other options like OLHC values, indicator title, indicator arguments and indicator values. So if you want to see all those values, you can make it on or off. These are very simple settings. Now let us come to the event settings. Now in the event tab, we can switch these settings on or off. And these will be shown in the bottom means on the X axis. Now I think all the options are self explanatory except this insider trading. So friends, this is not applicable to India, but in USA, when a person working in the same company buy or sell the stock of the same company, it has to be reported because that person working in the company has some advantages. He might have some information, right? So these things has to be reported. So for that, these events will be shown on the X axis. If you switch this insider trading option on, in the order flow setting, we have tick manager to set the tick size of the data. So either we can put it in auto mode or we can switch it off and put a value manually here. If we keep it in a manual mode and put a very small value, then it will be difficult to read the data. However, if we keep the value as very big, it is also of no use. So we need to keep a reasonable value here and how to get that value for that we have a very good video in our go charting channel. The title of the video is how to choose tick size for your order flow chart. Please refer to that video to know what value we should put here. Now format volume is an interesting option. If we choose a number here, all the numbers of the order flow and the volume will be divided by that number. So suppose if I switch it on and then put here as 50. So all the numbers of order flow data and the volume will be divided by this 50. It makes data to be read easily. All right. However, some people also prefer to put a number that is based on lot size. So suppose for nifty, the lot size is 50. So for nifty trading, we can put the format volume on and put a value of 50. For bank nifty, we can put value as 25. So we will be getting the data in terms of lot sizes. Then there is a power trade scanner. It gives us info about heavy volume trading in real time. We can put a value for a particular volume, which has been traded in a stipulated time here. So we will get the visual alerts on the chart. There is a very good video by Rafa Ji and the title of the video is Power Trade Scanner in Go Charting. You can search for that video and watch to know about this feature in detail. Now session option is for splitting market profile based on different market sessions. Say for example, in Forex market, we have mainly three sessions which are Asian session, London session and US session. Similarly, for CME and US market, we have pre-market sessions, post-market sessions, regular trading hours. We also have electronic trading hours. So we have all these different sessions. So we do not need to split market profile individually. If we can select the session here, the market profile will be split automatically. We have explained in detail about this feature also. So please search in our YouTube channel, Go Charting. And the title of the video is how to split market profile for different trading session. We have explained in very detail about this particular feature. Now this tab options, it will be explained during the options desk app because it is related to that only. Now coming to the trading tab, 
all the options are quite obvious however let me explain the show execution when we do trading the executed trades will show on the charts and it will be written near the candles like suppose you have traded on the reliance so it will be shown reliance bought for this reliance sold for this much sometimes these uh, text can be very annoying and create confusion for the traders so if you don't want those things we can simply switch these executions as off now enable quick trade mode about this option which is the last option it will enable to place order directly by right click and the trading panel will not open however for the app there is no right click button so we need to simply keep it on only however if you are trading from your laptop you can switch it off and you can simply right click and place the order there is no need to fill the order details in the trading panel now we have again explained this feature in detail please search for the video named as one click trade with fires in our go charting you can understand how to place orders in our platform in very detailed manner and from this broker option you can add your broker and now coming to the layers option so from the layers option whatever indicators you have added in your chart you can simply click on it and you can change their settings so for example we can change imbalance setting then we have this volume panel and then we have this rsi panel if i click on rsi the settings of rsi will open if i click on the imbalance the settings of the imbalance will open So I hope you guys have got a good idea about the go charting app thank you guys